Parental discretion is advised. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wrestling Mayhem Show 309. I am your host, Sorgatron, here in Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, we are here, and we don't also don't like men who beat women, like CM nope. Punk. No. Um, with us, as always, is DJ Lunchbox. Hey, what's up, hot dog? I am DJ Lunchbox. I am here in the north side of uh, beautiful Pittsburgh, and... Uh, if you uh, you feel like reading something, maybe you should go over and pick up some monsterhaiku.org. Yeah. Sounds good. And also from San Antonio, Texas, where where they still have women's wrestling. Where the Buffalo Roam. It's the generic <laughs> fan. <laughs> what the fuck? Gal, gal on a buffalo. <laughs> Uh, How you doing? Yeah, is right, though. Though. I don't be women. That's because I normally don't talk to women. <laughs> he can <laughs> never. Yeah. He's afraid. Yeah. He can <laughs> never get forward. that far. Uh, As so, yeah, he should be. Women are show. terrifying. Ooh. He's Here's afraid. You got anything that's else there? That's my intro. That, that's it? That's all? It's, all right. it's, it's very generic, intro. isn't it? <laughs> back, <laughs> is the, back is the Riz. Hey, Riz. I was here last week. Hey, Riz. Hi. Hi. Riz was here back last week. Welcome back. You're back, you're back from back. a week I'm ago. Than, Hi, Riz. <laughs> and my and location, and I do not do not hit women. Nope. And also wheels. Hi, John. Hey, woo woo woo! I rolled it. Hi, wheels. I have this weekend. <laughs> what the hell? And also with us on the couch, it's Chachi. Hey, that's Chachi. That's me. Chachi. Yeah. Yeah. I also I also do not hit women. Because yours would hit back. <laughs> yes, because uh, mine would hit back. Yes. <laughs> and that scares me. <laughs> I didn't know we all had to specify. I don't hit women either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lunchbox, I didn't say anything either. Uh, I, I was just following the uh, the trend, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's good. If you don't know what's going on, there's there's a CM Punk tweet, and yeah. you should go you should go follow him on Twitter. And there's a video, and say it involves Chris Brown. Yes, he's not friends, following him on Twitter. He but doing. this is the Wrestling Mayhem yes. show, and you it is time okay? to intro the show. Yes, <laughs> you can uh, uh, catch up all our goings on over wrestlingmayhemshow dot com. You can follow us on Twitter at at Mayhem Show. You can uh, email us at. Good times at wrestling mayhem show.com. You can also drop us a line at 412 206 WMS0. That's 9670. Drop us a line. We're over on the Google Plus where we do a lot of hangouts and talking over there. We talk, we have uh, two pages on the Facebook. We have the page and then we have an open group where a lot of the real conversation happens. So uh, just go ahead and look that up and uh, we will add you in there. And, it works. and we have an app on your iOS and Android devices. That's right. I, you know, I've been playing yes. with the I've played with the iPad version of it this week. I never, I'm never in there too often. It's really kind of cool. Yeah. It's kind of nice to have that space. To, you should to, check it out. I should check it out. <laughs> I mean, well, I, well, what's nice is I bought it. No, I didn't buy it. Yes, I did buy it because I didn't have the codes when we first started this thing. So I actually <laughs> paid myself 30% of the $1.99. I paid you too. Exactly. Um, and I you. And, I, and they, it became a universal app. So you only have to buy it once. Unlike, unlike the brand new WWF WrestleFest uh, game that you need to buy for each platform. There you go. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Did you have something else? No. No, that was it? Okay. No, no. <laughs> Just making wait, sure. Wait, did you do the hotline? Hotline? I did the hotline. Oh, okay. Wait, wait. This is the hotline. We got the Twitter. We got the Google Plus. We got the Facebook. Got the, the, did you oh, do the iTunes. Plurk? You know we're on iTunes? Yes, I did do. Did you just say Plurk? I did. We're not on Plurk. I don't think we were ever on Plurk. Oh, okay. Are we on Friendster? No, we're not on Friendster. LinkedIn? Well, actually, we might be on Friendster. Uh, not on LinkedIn. Well, technically, kind of. MySpace. We're, we're definitely on, on MySpace. LinkedIn. We're yeah. definitely on MySpace. God, I don't even know. People what, still I using MySpace. Like. We have a GeoCities <laughs> page I mean, with a bunch Timberland. of flashing Jesus is dancing. If you want to go over there, <laughs> <laughs> wow! I should actually go make a GeoCities. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but anyways, hey, we're on Blip TV, we're on iTunes, we're on uh, your Roku device, your MediaFly device, so go watch us or listen to us on any of those 
everywhere. on the Stitcher app as well is, is pretty fantastic. They got a pretty cool upgrade to the Stitcher app. Uh, please review us, like us, recommend us to your friends who Email may also us. like wrestling. They think I think they no, we only did an email. I know. Oh, yes. this is falling apart. We need to move on. Yes. You know what we do? <laughs> we we falling apart in the intro, and we need to move on to the next we segment. We read the email. That's exactly Way what we do, Chad. I, I want to start. Fan mail. Fan mail. I want to start. It's time for okay. some fan mail. So. Go ahead. Uh, it, this one this one requires a little, a little build up. Okay. So uh, moments like Renegade? No. <laughs> moments <laughs> exactly no, like Renegade. Moments before the the show started. Yes. Moments. And I mean mere minutes before the show started. We got an email that said is it too late for questions? And so I am curious <laughs> as to where this was going. I said okay. no. <laughs> and it well, no, it's a legitimate email. Okay. Um his name is Luke Hudson. He is Hi, in Luke. Australia. Okay. Or Austria. Wait. It's dot AU. So whatever country that represents. Australia or Austria. Oh, whatever yeah. country Austria. That is. <laughs> Whichever hemisphere that might be. Right. If he has an accent, we need a good one. Is his email in an accent? No. Mm. Um, but he, uh, he he sent us an email. Okay. Let's see. i got to bring it back up because oh, here it is. <laughs> and his email address is uh, Mickey1. Can you do it in an Australian or no. Austrian accent? No. Goodbye. People, I am no threat to Mickey James. Uh, I just have a crush that has been going on for six years. I really don't like where this is going. <laughs> I, don't like I, can't, where going I kind of do like where this is going. I can't help feeling the way I do. She is a very good looking woman, and it's not my fault that I want to hook up with her. Everyone does, so people should give me a break and stop bullying me calling me a freaky stalker fan. I'm just doing what my heart wants, and that's just one. Date with Mickey James. I just I want it. people to leave me alone and let me live a dream I never get a chance to accomplish anything in my life. People should just let me accomplish my goal. What's the harm in it? I'm sick of being pushed around by people talking rubbish, trash, the losers out there. It's not me. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sick of being pushed around by people talking rubbish, trash, Talking to me, you have never met me. I know the losers out there. It's not me. Oh, because I have a dream of being with Mickey James. Doesn't make me a creep. Yeah. Oh. Don't shut up, Bryce. Let the man dream. <laughs> you alright over there? <laughs> Sorry, I have a cold. Josh, you can't read his uh. emails, <laughs> It's not me. All because I have a dream of being with Mickey James doesn't make me a creep. If you people were me, would you be out there fulfilling a goal that's been tormenting you for so long? Yes. You would. You would be, or you wouldn't be tormenting, or you would be tormented by other fans. I'm just looking at pictures of Mickey James. I told people about my idol crush I have on Mickey James. It's driving me to the point I just have to do this. If I don't, what is there for me? Nothing. So people, please help my dream and stop the bullying and hate towards me. It's wrong. Please just let me date Mickey James. I am not dangerous or violent person or mean any harm to Mickey. I am misunderstood. I need to date Mickey. Luke. Uh, um, what was the question? Uh, yeah, what was the, what was the question? Yeah, what was the, there was no <laughs> question to that email. I don't know. <laughs> Do we just give a weird should, should we turn like a stalker this into to someone a weird or, like, but it, It's not the strangest thing that's happened on the show, nope. so let's show. just move on like it never happened. <laughs> um, wait, wait, wait. wait. Sure, I think I know what the question was. What was it? I think he was asking, is it bad that he has an obsession for Mickey James? And the answer to I'm going to give you is yes, because you're creepy. You are say, unless you threaten to bomb WWE headquarters. Okay, stop, death. stop, 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 stop. All right, listen. He's not creepy. Lots of people have it's celebrity creepy, crushes. Creepier than us. Uh, he, is not, he is not listen, creepier than us. Hey, hey, Lunchbox. Yeah. What are some of the things you say about karma? <laughs> 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 It really, listen, it all depends on, he didn't get into any specifics. If he's, like, actively stalking Mickey James, yes, that's wrong. If he just thinks about her when he jerks off, that's fine. 
<laughs> right. We're we're not saying that he should go out and uh, stalk and or kidnap Mickey James because yes, that is wrong. But he's allowed to want a date with Mickey James. Shit. Sure. I would want it. right. I would want a date with Mickey James. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Leave the guy alone. He's not creepy unless he's actively stalking her. <laughs> in <laughs> which you, case, unless you're actually kidnapping. Mickey yes, James. unless you have Mickey James in your trunk. In which case, I'm going to tell you to go Listen, ahead and. There are two different re- tones of this email. There are two the different farm. tones of this email. There is the I am generally fond of this person, and I wish people would give me a break for for my fondness of this my fandom of this person. And there's also the man. Why can't she just get in my trunk? Side of it. <laughs> right. I mean, it could go either way, and it depends on or, which or accent. And it depends shot. on which accent you read it in. Australian <laughs> or Austrian. Right. Yeah, that's what it goes down to. That's what it boils down to. I think we spent enough time on this. Okay, Let's move on. on to the next email. LB, Listen, I, I, I was <laughs> just doing... I was you're doing, doing a fan service, and that is fine. Oh, before we Public forget, can, can, I, can I do one more fan service before I forget about it? I want to throw this out. Uh, we were tweeted uh, the last couple of days <laughs> by... Uh, uh, this isn't right. Oh, Lisa Vron fan uh, asked the At Mayhem Show, can you mention me? Yes. Hello, Lisa Vron fan. Follow him on Twitter. Hi. Hi. Also, a uh, random Twitter I saw from the Raw and Reactor. And not a stalker. Yeah, also not a stalker. Uh, from the Raw Reactor, Jack Swagger just reminds me of someone who would try and rape you in the gym shower. You're, he's weird. <laughs> he's not uh, that wrong. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> wow. Of, you know, creepy, creepy stalkerness. Uh, LB, I think the you have something. Star of the show we've ever had. I do. I do. Listen. Have something. They're not creepy. Well, no, we're not creepy. Go ahead, LB. Okay. Uh, greetings, Mayhem and Knights. First of all, let me get this out in the open. I like Cena. He's a consummate professional with a work ethic of five superstars and deserves every Slurpee Cup royalty he gets. But the WWE is drilling holes in a sinking ship to let the water out. I know Cena is fighting an uphill battle with fan appreciation, and Kane had to be thrown under the C-Nation bus as a an uber heel to help pump up his feng shua with the crowd. What did Ryder and Eve do? Why do they have to be coal in the furnace of Rock and Cena WrestleMania Express? Ryder, who is massively over, uh, riding a self-created pop and bringing back some meaning to the mid-card belts, got sl- slap-hammered, um, or slap hammered, uh, just to add dramatic tension to the quote, embrace the hate, hate angle. I would say he's pretty much out of mania for Cena's benefit. But then again, Orton broke his back and quote, walked it off in three weeks. Anyway, Ryder's self generated push effectively killed. Then Eve, who is the number two face in a division of faces, got got an under-the-bus assist with a crappy Gold Digger storyline from Cena's benefit. Just when I thought WWE was going to throw a fair shake to all the talent, the whole company shifts to prop up the same guys. Taker, Triple H, Cena, and Part-Time Rock. The championship main events, which, by the way, I'll lay money won't be a headline, are booked great. But the print, all the print will go over the generations and the streak. Undertaker, turn up your hearing aid and listen up. If you remember the AARP, your sports, or rather sports entertainer career, is over. Sorry. It's over. Let it go. You've overstayed your welcome. It's too late to be Ricky Steamboat, who got out in his prime when he thought a back injury would affect his performance. But you don't have to be Flair or Hogan. Just bow out gracefully. Hands will be hurt, but they'll love you in the end. Crap, I made a TNA reference, didn't I? Okay, the good. Bully Ray still has a gas tank and is killing on the mic. And how to improve, let's give Hardy a rest. He's over, but you run the risk of turning him heel with the quote one more match. Recently made famous by Christian, by invented by Jericho, I think. Have a great show, you guys. Sonic Screwjob. P.S. Is it just me, or does Kofi Kingston's new ring gear look like a, a cross between Yellow Megazord and Yami Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh? Wow. Uh... Okay, first... I want to go back to um, the part where he says that he's, they're killing, uh, they're they're propping up the same co- the same guys. Mm-hmm. Incorrect. Okay. Um, Daniel Bryan and Sheamus mm-hmm. is a fantastic way to push the uh, the new guys. Yeah. Plus, not that he needs it, 
but uh, CM Punk going with Jericho is another way to push Jericho into the whole legend status. Mm -hmm. Plus, you have to think, if they're going to follow through with a Money in the Bank match at uh, WrestleMania, then that gives all of these guys um, that they're uh, quote-unquote squashing right now a fair shot at the, the spotlight. Because, as we all know, it doesn't matter where you fall in the Money in the Bank match, as long as you're not the Big Show or Kali, um, you usually get a big push from being in that match. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, it's a show off match. Yeah. It's, a, it's a chance to shine. <laughs> so, exactly. Yes. Yeah. And exactly. I would like to mention that Christian showed up uh, at the pay per view looking like uh, kind of a tooled edge. <laughs> a little. So, I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Next email. Who's got Next email. I got this one because it's from one Bobby F. J-Town. Okay. Gentlemen, since Lord neglected me tonight, I decided to take my comments to email. This week's draw following the Elimination Chamber was really good. I am actually excited for most of the matches coming up at Mania. Jericho vs. Punk is going to be the highlight of Mania for me. Two of my all-time favorite superstars and a few that has good build for the short time Jericho has been back. The only other match that I would rather see involving Punk would have been Punk Austin, but that may never happen. Santino is becoming one of my favorite superstars. I think the WWE is capitalizing on Lin Sanity with a little San- Santinosity. <laughs> okay. It helps that the Cobra and Puppet FJ Town are actually distant cousins. I know I know a lot of you, AJ, do not want to see a match between Taker and Triple H again. I was actually starting to get into it with with the promos. However, now I think I'm in 95% with the announcement of Hell in the Cell. It, it'll be the, fair, the first ever Hell in a Cell match at Mania, I believe. No, that's no. not true. Uh, Undertaker, big boss fan. Um, also, I think these two, although old, may surprise us with a great ma- match at Mania. Finally, my choices for the Mania returning Money in the Bank match in no particular order. Christian, Alberto Del Rio, Dolph Ziggler, Miz, Kofi Kingston, Santino, Wade Barrett if he's able, and R-Truth. I think the winner will be either Barrett or Dolph. They are due. Also, wheels, dot, 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 renegade! Do it! Bobby F. Jones out. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, <laughs> See? I'm so the calls die. for the renegade. You need to you need to watch Gold or be here in the chat if you want to know what's going on with that. Um, excellent, excellent. Well, so we got one more, guys, right? Yeah, I got it. You got it over there? Yep. All right, do it. And this is from... Uh, Matt, the moving target, Carlins. Okay. Greetings, dummy OS crew. I felt compared to share my thoughts on Raw and some personal pet peeves. First, I'm heartbroken over Wade Barrett's injury. He's one of my favorites. My only consolation is the hope that it leads to a regular commentary role and a Nexus reunion down the road. The opening segment is everything that's wrong with today's pro wrestling. I don't feel like I need to explain. Stupid backstage segment. The live crowd added a lot to the show, especially the Undertaker Triple H segment, but chanting what during Taker's promo? Really? They're lucky he doesn't have magic lightning shooting powers anymore. Or does he? I can't keep track. Yet. (laughs) On the same topic... Can you believe WWE actually dedicated an entire chapter of the new Stone Cold DVD to what? Like, it's this great contribution to the industry. (laughs) It's a contribution. I hated it then. I hate it now. And I bet he hates it at every indie show he may attend. Yep. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's like Austin activated a time machine that will ruin promos for the rest of our lives. (laughs) There are days when I feel like what outweighs all the great moments Austin gave us during his career. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Your cranky friend in the mainstream media at Matt Carlin's. What? And then it says, P.S. If AJ's in tonight, please ask him to read my email. It sounds so much better coming from him. But oh. AJ wasn't here. Ouch. Oh, take that. Oh, I don't Sorry, care. Chachi. No, I don't give a shit. But Chachi, I still love you, Chachi. It's okay. Hey, I still read it. You're <laughs> you're still the voice of me, Chachi. Yeah, but the problem is, it's all that matters. You're here. 
Son of a bitch, you're here. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, look who's here. So, look who's here. No voicemails this week. Please drop a line over Thank there. Thank God. <laughs> Come on. Whoa. Drop a voicemail, especially... There it is. Yeah. No, no, where is it? There it is. Oh, no, which That's, one is it? You're not 412-206-WMS0-9670. 9670. I believe there's a link in it in that uh, WMS Gold app if you have that on. There here. is. All right, there we're going to close the Renegade. We're going to get rid Renegade. of that. <laughs> Whoa. Um, so uh, with that, I think we toss it over to the Wrestle fan. Oh, and Chachi it's walks away. What's Hi, going on Chachi. there? Well, no, see, I'm walking away. I'm walking away, no, I'm walking away we we, because yeah. he already said that it's not going to be under a minute. Okay. Yeah. Therefore, I'm not needed at the scoreboard. He's no. going to remain at <laughs> negative 27 quadrillion 35 <laughs> points. Quadrillion? Yeah. Did you have a quadrillion in there? You know, yeah. that's fine. That's fine. I, I I have my own Russell fan board that I just give myself a thousand points each week so I can, you know, not be depressed every, every Tuesday. <laughs> and he wakes <laughs> up and he wakes up every morning, looks at his Russell fan board and goes. <laughs> wow. And then he cries. Whatever helps you sleep at night, cries. buddy. No, no, he cries to go to sleep. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Anyways uh, he carry on. They don't know what you just did, so you might have to explain it. <laughs> no, just go with it. Wrestle fan, <laughs> what the hell's going in non-televised wrestling this week? I'm, well, they, I'm, first it, I'm going to talk. Actually, first I'm going to talk about televised wrestling. <laughs> this week. Excellent. Has a pay per view coming up. What? Uh, Not on, on TV. Uh, well, it, it, they're they're on TV and it, they, it, it, other, you know, whatever. Uh, tenth the tenth anniversary show, Young Wolves Rising, uh, which will be at the uh, Hammerstein Ballroom in New York City. Uh, the what? main event uh, that has been announced is a tag team matchup with uh, ROH World Champion Davey Richards teaming with his protege Kyle O'Reilly to take on his uh, diehard Eddie Edwards and Adam Cole. So it'll be the American Wolves going against each other and Future Shock going against each other in the same matchup. The uh, ROH tag team titles will be on the line when the Briscoe brothers defend against the Young Bucks. Uh, ROH TV title on the line when Jay Lethal defends against the dominant male Tommaso Ciampa of the Embassy. <laughs> and uh, much more. So if you want to go order the iPay-Per-View, um, it's from Go Fight Live. Uh, you can buy, buy tickets to the event. Go check them out. It's at the Hammerstein Ballroom uh, in New York City, as I said. Um, also, the mo- note about iPay-Per-Views, go to um, uh, DGU- DGUSA.TV for Dragon Gate USA. Their uh, event that they're going to be doing an iPay-Per-View for WrestleMania weekend is only $1.99. Nice. I So, yeah, definitely. If you love good wrestling, you know, hop on that. And, you know, it's definitely an amazing deal. The pay-per-views are usually like 15 or so. So, yeah, you can get a uh, great Dragon Gate USA pay-per-view. The main event, low-key, taking on uh, England star Pack um, in the main event, uh, WrestleMania weekend, only $1.99 uh, on iPay-per-view. So go check that out. Uh, show them some love. Uh, and the next I want to mention is um, I want to give uh, big props, uh, both because they're in, the, uh, they're in my area and both because you guys will probably like them too if you're listening to the uh, Mayhem show. Um, our uh, Anarchy Championship Wrestling had a show this past Sunday um, over in San Antonio, Texas. That did they did an amazing show, a lot of great stuff. Which saw um, ACH pick up the win in the three way match against uh, Darren Childs and Sean Vex. Mia Yim made her return uh, and put on a great showing. Uh, a lot of great stuff. Uh, I we, we are in, I am right now in in context to possibly get somebody from uh, Anarchy Championship Wrestling uh, on the Mayhem Show for an interview. So hopefully something will come of that. A lot of talented guys there that really you know work their ass off to you know provide some good product. And you know if you're not in the Texas area, don't fret because they are. You can buy their DVDs on SmartMarkVideo.com. Um, so go uh, go go buy a DVD. The next show is uh, March 18th back in San Antonio, uh, where the main event will be Masada taking on uh, Jerry Lynn, which is a first time matchup. Uh, go check the, uh, so go check them out. Uh, show them some love and uh, tell them the Wrestling Mayhem show sent you. Um, and I don't know if Sorg hasn't pulled up because I I, w- I was at the event. Obviously, it was a great event. Awesome stuff. There was. Uh, there were some interesting shots. Um, there's there's me high fiving air, uh, <laughs> which awkward is the most awkward picture awkward. They, uh, they had of me. But there's a uh, there you see AC, which by the way ACH there the heavyweight champion is also going to be wrestling for AIW coming up. He's in a uh, four way match 
with uh, Uha Nation. It's up Ricky in Cleveland. Shane. Yeah, up in Cleveland. Uh, Uha Nation, Ricky Shane Page, and friend of the show, Michael Fassad, will be in that match as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, it's a group that's really breaking out. They're doing more than just Texas. You know, they're doing a lot of doing a lot of interesting stuff. So definitely check them out. Like I said, uh, there's a chance we may be having them on the show. Uh, so definitely that's great stuff. That's all I have. Oh, no, it isn't, WrestleFan, because we also have this fun, wonderful picture right oh, here. Oh, yes. Of <laughs> uh, me almost getting... Uh, <laughs> so, no, for those who don't know, this is... Okay, there's, there's a... a, a, a what was it? Is that ACH? That is ACH. <laughs> Jumping yeah, in the air, champion. apparently over a guy. You're the only one sitting in your section... <laughs> Cuddled up with your program, it looks like. It looks like you're looks getting, like you're playing a kazoo. <laughs> or <laughs> it looks like you're about to be pooped on. <laughs> a little bit. A little I bit. Was, well, it, the, it does, and we're going really to zoom in. The, 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 I zoom <laughs> in on that face. <laughs> that, that face is so priceless. That is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is wow. Yeah. Uh, the, that photo actually doesn't do justice because ACH uh, at that moment uh, ran up the side of a wall and did a backflip, nice. which is why nice. he's in, in that position. So, uh, yeah, that's um, like you're about well, to shit fuck, yourself. Right yeah, now. I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> move out the fuck, the fuck out of the way when he does. Wow. <laughs> Bobby's in the chat room and he wants that as his wallpaper right now. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in the chat room so you guys can feel free to put this as a wallpaper on your your uh, uh, desktop or oh, mobile device right you know now. What? Well, so, let's, let's go to the giveaway pile. Let's go to the giveaway pile? Yeah, let's go. We're let's, away. Let's, okay. Let's go to the giveaway pile. You know, pile. Yeah, there's been some good stuff. I, I think I think we're on the same line here. You, okay. Um, away. Uh, people in the chat room, people listening, can we put this in the gold app and put it on the web page, please? Okay. Uh, what? <laughs> okay. We're gonna have a caption contest. Oh, great. <laughs> I was thinking we should have a Photoshop contest. Oh, that'd be that would be that, better. That's a little difficult though for some mm, people. Okay. So okay. Let's, caption contest. Let's do a, let's, caption contest. Let's do a caption contest. Okay. Uh, funniest caption wins half pints. A Triple H and Undertaker in oh. uh. And that's WrestleMania appropriate. A tiny so caption. Yep. Away the midget horn. One point to no, a mini no. I, I'm gonna let Sword keep the midget horn. But so, yeah, so um, there it is. I will say if anyone, if anyone can close Photoshop up, close me, up, if, close up. If anyone can Photoshop this and make me a meme, uh, I would yes. love this for life. <laughs> yes, yes. And we'll talk about the memes later because I think we want to talk about some David Otunga memes that are going on right now. Oh, so, but, David uh, Otunga. so yeah, uh, a caption contest. Um, funniest caption gets Undertaker. Uh, Triple H half pints. Yeah. Hell in a cell, should, not included. I, I, this should be fun. <laughs> this could be fun. I, I'm interested to see how this turns out. Um, so that's all I have. Excellent. For Excellent. Wrestling. I don't know if anyone else in the crew has anything. Well, there is a little bit more wheels. You're the. You did a solid. You got. You hooked us up with some guys from RWA this past weekend. Uh. Mm. So, uh, and, and I'm just going to let it speak for itself. I don't think I don't think yeah. any introduction is is, is really uh, needed here. Uh, now there is uh, there was a, a bit of noise in this, so please bear with it. Uh, it does get better about halfway through. Um, if it, and it's about uh, 18 minutes, I think it is. Uh, so if it's uh, too unbearable, you want to get back to the rest of the show, just skip better on your old podcast player. Uh, so we'll, we'll go check this out. Uh, interview with G Raver, and about halfway through, a special. And large guest that yes. I know Chachi's familiar with here. <laughs> Thanks to Wheels, That's Wrestling Mayhem sound. Show. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, I bet you're surprised to see this. This is Hot Wheels from the Wrestling Mayhem Show. And you thought WrestleFan was going to get the exclusives? Look, I'm sitting down. There's not a lot of noise. And there's better looking women. But seriously, folks, I got an interview with one of RWA's top stars, uh, G Raver. I'd like to welcome you to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. And I wanted to ask you a couple questions. All right. First question What got you into wrestling? Um, what got me into wrestling? I think it was a mixture of, you know, uh, you know as a young adult, I was into stunts, skateboarding, uh, you know, anything 
think it was a little bit of a risk factor involved in me where I was the one that was the idiot would be like all for it. If my friends came up with a dumb idea, I'd pretty much, you know, be the first one. And uh, you know, of course, my love for wrestling has always been there since you know, a child. I grew up, you know, Macho Man, Steve Hart, and those people. Uh, the high flyer was exactly into it. Yeah. So I mean, those guys really set that tone for me as a child, really getting into it. And then I kind of, it's almost as a mesh together. It seemed that that was kind of destined to do this. Always played around. Why I started there, and it was going to be my friends. And it just took me to life of its own. And it was a matter of just, you know, going about the right way when I went off to school at that point, and I'm realizing that's how much I wanted to that's kind of funny you said that, that you went to a school and it's special. Where were you trained? Uh, I was actually trained in the French Market at uh, the New Alabama Arena. It's at the time. Uh, CCW was a car wrestle factory. I trained originally, uh, came in for training. We filled out for the training. Uh, I was doing my quiet push at the time. He was running the class at the time when I came. And uh, he had me get ready to try it out to see if it was something that was seriously going on. And I had um, invested actually in money into going to. You son of a bitch! Oh god, it's going to be. Oh, folks, I, I, I'm sorry. It's We're getting it. interrupted by Dr. Fuel, man. Well, I'll just continue to say this. A busy. Anyway, CCW and Chicago Wrestling Factory was in school together. And I originally took over to Chicago. Uh, I then moved over to CCW once the school split up, and so I you know, got my start in Philadelphia. It was a great experience from the start because he was already teaching me stuff and wanting to see what limitations you know, I had right from the get go. You know, could I pull this off? Could he do this? Could he do that? He wanted to see all of that to see where I would fit in. Um, either a class bracket, you know, if it was an experience class or do anything like that. So some of that actually excelled me a little bit, um, you know, into a spot where, you know, I got a little time uh, advanced training right off the get-go. So I was kind of happy about that as well. And, uh, you know, of course, when the school was small, I went over to CCW. So I, I felt, like I said before, Oh, hi. Hey, hi. Well, sorry, I kind of got... Wow. Um, a bad joke going awry, I guess. Uh, he said it was my fault. I felt like for a minute there I was on uh, Monday Night Raw. Uh, it almost ran up in a Zack Ryder flyby night. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I, um, where were we? I just felt finished up talking about the schooling. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, I want to definitely thank my uh, <laughs> lovely camera girl, Lindsay. You can put your finger on the card and the camera go, hi! Or something. <laughs> no thanks. Uh, seriously. <laughs> But the next question I got for you is, how long have you been in this business? Um, it's coming up in seven years, uh, which is crazy because uh, it doesn't feel that way. Um, you know, it feels like just the other day, you know, I was still wrestling, you know, I in a tag team situation where we went everywhere, we booked each other in a tag format. It feels like just yesterday I was doing that with my uh, friend Fred, and we created a tag team called New Revolution. And what's crazy is I mean my own my the you know, purpose of moving up here was I stand off from Fred. Um, you no know, wrestling. You know, I think about all the, the moments and memories I've had so far with wrestling and it's just like wow, I just feel like I could add so much more to that. You know, as the years go by. And then you're like young man, so you Yeah, and exactly. So I hope that it continues to go that way. You know. But yeah, it's just it feels great at the same time to know that I'm you know benefiting from that. With all this uh, wrestling you've been doing for this short time, but you feel like it's forever. Uh, what titles do you hold in Benny right now? Uh, right now, uh, Kobe Pro, uh, West Virginia, uh, Cruiserweight Tag Team, uh, Cruiserweight Championship, so, uh, and at, at the WCA, uh, the uh, WCA title, title, 
of sorts. Dream opponent, Logan Luke Day. I had a problem with, uh, you know, thinking of this. Um, as soon as you said it, because when I think back to some of the guys that I would love, love to work, I think it's, it's really a mentality thing. You can see that in some right. It's like, wow, did they go to the extra mile? Uh, those are the guys that really uh, they latched onto watching the Attitude Era at ECW. Uh, there was a lot of guys there that I would really love to work with. And, uh, just to name some of the tubs, it's like, it was, it was, you know, uh, deceased from Macho Man Randy Savage. Um, whether I was jobbing, which I wouldn't be doing, <laughs> or not, I would still enjoy it uh, so much to be able to do that. Because um, I always uh, looked at the numbers, it was one of my favorites. You know, way over all this, everything. Yeah. Um, and then uh, currently, I mean, just some people have done that. I really like it. I like performance wise. I always like rated. Uh, psychology wise, I thought he just picked apart every single thing a wrestler do um, about a wrestling match. So I, I love that part about him. Uh, Mikey Whipwreck. Uh, I always enjoyed Mikey, Mikey Whipwreck. Just the way he came into the business, I thought was amazing. And uh, more currently, uh, you know, going into a whole different aspect of wrestling, which is actually deathmatch wrestling, is uh, Hell Time Jack. Uh, I always loved Hell Time Jack. I, I enjoyed him just because of his passion and some of the crazier aspects that he did. So I'd love to work with a guy like that, you know what I mean? So it, it's hard to say. I, I could go probably on a list of people that I'd like to work with. When I was told I could do this interview, the first person I thought would be the three would be Jerry because you both have that. You know, I, I'm openly, you know, admitted to I've always been a Hardys fan. I, you know, I, they were really the ones that I just, I got so much from watching them because they were just, I mean, I loved the Rockers when I was a kid. I loved the Midnight Express when I was a kid. And they just seemed to fall right into that next pattern for me of, of you know, the talent that I, I enjoyed watching. And, and yeah, I mean, they're having some troubles now and stuff. I still, you know, I mean, it's life. I mean, I feel like. I mean, yeah, anybody can sit there and say negative things, but at the same time, uh, they, don't, they don't see what's in this business. No. And it, it, it's just, it's, it's hard, you know what I mean, coming from that aspect and then just being like, well, you know, life, life happens. Yeah. It's you know, like, some handle it better than others. It's some handle it better than others, you know, and it's. Uh, let's see. So far in your short, long career, Wanted to say, what was your best match so far? Uh, my best match so far. Um, right off the, I mean, it just comes out really heavy because it was that it was the matches that that I wanted to have and I, I hadn't had for a while. And that's how it's been being a Um I needed that. Um, I felt like and sometimes, you know, in wrestling where I felt like I wasn't. Um, Fun in it. And, uh, you know, it happens. And, and it, 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 it's just all about kicking it back into the fun mode, you know what I mean? Like, if it's so fun, then why would why we do it, you know what I mean? So, it was those matches with Jason Corey, I think, that really just made me feel good about it. You know, perform on that level. You know, perform something, once again, like I said earlier, that had that mentality going in. Right. And he's already excited about it, you know? It's fun. I mean, honestly, as somebody that works for RWA and also doing little interviews uh, with Wrestling Day, so I got to see a lot of the matches with you and Glory, and I really enjoyed a lot of them. Our fans and you need to see DVDs, go on social media, order the DVD. I it's definitely it's a bunch of great matches. I enjoyed them. You'll enjoy them. Now, with all this uh, goofy advertising for social media. Hey, you got it. <laughs> so, where do you see yourself in five to ten years? Dying at the hands of Shane Taylor. <laughs> he thought the same thing when I looked over that way too. No. Uh, as much as I can very much see that happening, I mean, at the same time, uh, you know, I hope I see myself uh, because I'm 
the same way as anybody else in this business, and that's constantly picking apart, um, you know, what you do and how you do it, and I just hope that I keep advancing in that, and you can see that, and that develops over time, and I just hope that, you know, people recognize that at the same time, you know, but I love it too, that I'm still around, and, uh, you know, I, I, Kato being one of them, um, you know, I felt that, um, you know, it was moments where I felt like me and him even got on the wrong foot. You know yeah. what I mean? And, but at the same time, I, I really respect his opinion. I always did. Uh, he shared on this uh, anytime. I think he did be a piece of it. I better myself. And I think people uh, sometimes lose, lose touch with that. Yeah. I mean, I don't think, I think a lot of the younger guys, like yourself, or, um, let's see, I can say maybe an arcade, or even a J.I.S., I mean, not bring up bad names or anything for you, but, yeah, a lot of these younger guys, I like seeing that you look up to the events and stuff like that, and you ask for that advice, and it's good to see those people like Shane Douglas and Kato and all those people are willing to listen to their advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that time and go, yeah. you know, yeah. you know, 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 Absolutely. Especially being from an aspect of, um, you know, I didn't train with Kato, but I would, you know, I mean, the fact that he's even taking the time out for me right. because, you know, he, uh, you know, gave me the, you know, just, just that moment just to, to tell me something. Like that. I, so anybody that does it, so. Yeah. It, it, it's something special. I'm serious about doing this interview. Oh, God. He, oh, hey, ladies and gentlemen. It, it's the big man, Shane Taylor. Oh, God. It's not a man, you know, Shane. G. Weaver. Dress up on my Get up. It, it, and I heard what you said. I'll hit it quickly. Back your ass up. Or roll your ass up. Do whatever you do. Roll, roll my ass up. Alright. The rest of the questions. So this is where I'm supposed to down here. Pull my heart out. And yada, yada, yada. Spiel, spiel, spiel. Yeah. What got you into wrestling? Money got me into wrestling. Growing up as a kid, you sit there and you watch Hogan, you watch Andre, you watch The Warrior, all that. And everybody's, oh, they're my hero, all that, this, this, this. No. I saw dollar signs. Every little kid wearing a Hulk Hogan t shirt. Every little kid, Arm Bands, the Lion, The Warrior, all that makes me right? Right. Easy enough. So, so, did you have any heroes when you watch wrestling? I'm, I'm my hero. You're a hero. There we go. I came out of my mom's room. Absolute man on this planet. Next question. Where are we training? East Cleveland, Ohio. J Rock. Ray Rowe. The two best performers, other than myself and John McChesney, on the planet right now. I do have to agree. Wrestling business since 2006. Six years in the school. Can you imagine? What time? Is it? They shut the hell up. No, no, right? no. Let those boys a little quieter, bitches. What titles, if any, do you currently hold? Can you In the all day, if I sat here and rattled, and rattled off all the titles that I hold, so I hold a lot of. Shane Taylor's a champion everywhere I've been, and that's not going to stop here. As a matter of fact, Calvin McGrath, you have some time. You can badge your ass, or as jacked up as you are, I'm coming to get it. Dream opponent, living or dead. That's an easy one, The Undertaker. Good you think you can take the streak? What? You think you can take that streak? If he would have met me before, there wouldn't be a streak. Just put it like that. Yeah. Fair, fair. What's the best match of your wrestling career? Now, as much as this is a pain in the ass to say, I'm going to give the devil his due, Ryan Mitchell. He went out here last month, and we did something special. I've been in a lot of fights in my life. And that was... That was something. That was, took everything I had, 
and you kept getting up. You can bet your ass on that. When we meet again, and we will, it's not going to happen again. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? I'll tell you what, I will not be in West Newton, Pennsylvania. I'll tell you that shit right now. So we'll just go ahead and leave that there. If you didn't choose a path in wrestling, what would you be doing? And on, honestly, due to uh, legal issues, I'm not going to answer that question. Okay. Uh, what's your overall opinion on the state of the wrestling business today? I don't give a damn about the state of the wrestling business today. The only thing I'm worried about is what Shane Taylor is doing. Because when Shane Taylor does, so does something, he makes it count. And I tell you what. <laughs> In five or ten years, the state of the wrestling business will have a new face. It won't be John Cena, it won't be Randy Orton. It's going to be Shane Taylor. You can say, you can sit here right now, I told you right now, you're right here. Shane Taylor, the face of Crunch Muscle. If you had to watch the same match every Sunday, what would it be? Who wrote these damn punches? <laughs> Who just did this? Me no. I'm not gonna watch the same match every Sunday. That's stupid. But for the sake of argument, if I had to do it, now we can make up something. Any match? Oh uh, yeah. Three way: Masawa, Vader, and Taker. Yeah. I could watch it. I could watch it. How has wrestling changed your life? He lost his hair. I saw an old picture of you. You and Rock and Rogue. Me and hair. You and me now? I try. That suck. So how, how about this? Now on, mm -hmm. when I come out, you give me a standing ovation. That's the point now, is it? How has wrestling changed your life? Honestly? It hasn't changed my life, but it's damn sure it changed my bank account. So, that's good news. That's a good answer, I must say. Seriously, on this question though, how would you like to be remembered 20 years from now? Plain and simple. Whether it's tomorrow or 20 years from now, I'm going to be remembered as the absolute best to ever do this. You can sit there and you can quote your Ric Flair's, you can quote your Hogan's, you can do your John Cena gimmicks all you want. The bottom line, in your lifetime or anybody else's, when they say, what's the definition of a pro wrestler? Who is the absolute best? There's only going to be one name that comes to mind. CM Punk. It was a joke. I had to make another funny joke. Please don't hurt me, sir. Shane Taylor. Wheels? Yes, sir. Did you poop yourself a little bit? A little. Okay. Okay. Not to mention you got kidnapped halfway through that interview. Yeah. See, I get blamed for things I don't even do. <laughs> I don't know if we talk about what you do over there at IWA. You're the sound guy. Yeah, I'm part of a team, and mm -hmm. for once, my partner, who I thought I could trust, sold me to the wolves, basically. Okay. I almost Zack Ryder on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, you got wheeled like halfway across uh, that place and almost at the loading dock. It was pretty funny. Yeah. Um, but uh, thanks for that, and, and I'm, I'm loving this stuff. I'm loving that you guys are going out there and uh, getting these interviews here. Uh, look for some. We're gonna have some stuff. Uh, looks like from IWC the next couple weeks, maybe in studio here if everything works out, and uh, and, and and hopefully some stuff here from uh, San Antonio. A wrestle fan had a great one. What was that last week or the week before? We had from RCW. So uh, mm -hmm. keep stay tuned. We're gonna we'll keep uh, that up. In the meantime, let's go see what the Renegades are doing over on WMS Gold. We'll be right back after this. No, I'm a I'm a midget slash child from Mexico or Canada. How is that generic? You're a fetus. You're, You're a generic. Fetus. Uh, every if, if uh, uh, everyone so else so low cut isn't solo. If everyone else would <laughs> harmonize, that would be hilarious. <clears throat> you don't do you, anybody have a harmonica? 
Because I could be like, I'm explaining the whole, uh... Domestic wife, violence yeah, part? <laughs> the whole, uh, bitch slap angle that's going on right now. But uh, other than that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to the Wrestling Mayhem Show, and a segment that we like to call, Remember When? Now, last night on Raw, we were, we were reminded that WrestleMania is a mere 41 days away. 40 now. Um, but this brings me to this week's Remember When? As the next WrestleMania approaches, uh, we are constantly reminded that Undertaker is 19-0 and at WrestleMania. Uh, this would be 20. Remember when we used to be really excited about this fact? Instead, we're to the point where a lot of us really just want them to go away. Are you laughing at me? Maybe. Well, I mean, it's to the point where I fell asleep during his 20-minute intro last night. That was him just walking. Yeah, it was. They had the smoke, they had the music, the gong, and it took him 20 minutes to hobble down the ramp to the ring. I fell asleep. I'm not kidding. Before Baker needs a cripple card. Before he made it to the ring, I fell asleep. So, what that tells me is... It's time to hang up the boots. They should have ended the streak like three years ago. Okay. I'll, I'll say in that case, if they would have ended it three years ago, we wouldn't have gotten Michaels and Taker. Yes, it would have. Yes, it would. It would have been Michaels no, Taker. because if they ended it three years ago, it would end at the first Mania 24. No, it would end at the first Michaels Taker. No, it Which was no. awesome. Which yes. was Semantics. three years ago. That was two years ago. Wrestle fans, shut up. It's semantics. No. <laughs> they did Last year Wait. was Triple H Undertaker. The year before that was Michaels Undertaker 2. The year before that was Michaels Undertaker 1. Therefore, three years ago. Shut yeah. your mouth. Math, yeah. it, math is hard. Moving on. Math is hard. <laughs> That's where they should have ended it. Yeah. They shouldn't have done Michaels Taker 2. They shouldn't have done Triple H Undertaker. And they definitely should not do Trips Taker 2 in Hell in Three. a Cell. Three. 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 I'm Three. sorry. Three in Hell in Mass a Cell. <laughs> Chachi can't count. Well, at least he knows how to copy and paste. Oh. oh. Blow, blow. Blow. Oh. And That's that could blow. just be my opinion. I know it's not. I know AJ mm. agrees with me. Because while I woke up this morning and went to work and had to re-watch the rest of Raw... <laughs> Because I fell asleep. We, uh, Riz, AJ, and I all had a conversation about the same thing on mm -hmm. Twitter. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be happening. It It was like, I, I saw like a information <sighs> over and over and again about this, this promo. And it lasted eight to ten minutes longer than it should. That, that was fact. Someone actually tweeted that it was supposed to be shorter than eight to ten minutes in that area. And the bickering between the two, along with the Undertaker's slow walk down to the ring, it just seems bad. It, it doesn't. It, I don't want it to see like this. Yeah. And yeah, and yes, Taker's streak was long. Or Taker's entrance was long and stuff like that. But I mean, what else is new? But I, I that, that that's not just Taker. I think in general, when when people do promos on Raw and SmackDown, or mainly Raw, 
it, they usually te- like they usually do something where it would take them three minutes to say something, and they mo- extend it to like ten minutes. Like they they could I don't know. It I feel like they always like prolong it for some reason. It's dramatic like, effect. Dramatic, yeah. yeah. You could say dramatic effect, but I mean, I will say I agree with Chach. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. No, we're going to talk about that. No, story. no, no, no. Keep going. No, keep going. Keep going. Okay. Um, I agree with I agree with Chachi and AJ. I do feel he should have hung it up a long time ago. And you know, I agree. I will say though that the promo last night got me a bit more excited than I was. I, I'll say that. I, I uh, have to. <laughs> I have to disagree. Honestly, the if if the promo last night did anything. It made me less excited for this match. I was being more pumped up by the fact that Undertaker was sitting in a dark room, Ray Finkel style, <laughs> uh, watching <laughs> clips from the year before with all these news articles. Finkel is, I know. Exactly. Dude. I will say, yeah. I did, well, it wasn't the honestly. It wasn't the promo that got me interested. It was more just the fact that it's going to be hell in the cell. Hmm. Why? Like the, so both the rest guys of it, could die. Given a shit. Well, they, if, if, if anybody has defined Hell in a Cell, it's these two guys. And yeah. it's one way, I mean, come on. Look how broken down Foley was when he started throwing himself from a cage. You know, these guys yeah. can still go. and They're going to put everything on the line and they're going to feel it for the next six months, I'm sure. Uh, but I'm excited for that. These are these guys. These are two guys who can still go regardless. Yeah. All I will say you is don't know that. Or at least cover, you know, take and at least cover up. Go. At least cover up what the other guy can't do. You Taker know, can you go think Triple once a year, H can and cover Triple up H that isn't keyboard. exciting in the best of conditions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. I this always, is, this I always, is a the very exciting is, prospect of a match. I'm sorry, uh, go ahead, rest the fan. Well, I, the, I'll, the only thing I hope is you know it's going to be twenty and zero, or it's going to be nineteen and one, or something. And the way they built it up last night, or the past couple of weeks, with Triple H saying, you know, we're the last of our breed. I don't want to take you out of the game. Mm-hmm. You know. Maybe this will be the last one. <laughs> Some comments from the chat room. Jolly John thinks half of Taker's gimmick is to take six month breaks. Um, uh, six? Not, Matt, not, Matt Carlin no, says. Not six. Yeah. No, well, no, we're like well, 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 Triple H, too. Uh, yeah. Uh, Hell in a Cell. Uh, Stip works against the, this match. Will there be crazy spot? Who will take it uh, from no. Matt Carlin? That's it. Yeah. I mean, I mean, at this point, you kind of. Expect something crazy to happen. If they go with the, the tradition lately that nobody leaves the cell, nothing that crazy happens, nobody bleeds, that we've that's seen from have, the Hell in the Cell pay-per-view. Hell in the Cell repeat. No, no, no. It, it just needs, yeah, don't, don't, let's with not. Triple H hanging? Or, let's, yeah. let, let's not have dogs in the cage or anything. Um, yeah. Honestly, well, I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd see, you know, how I'd see someone uh, get hung Triple in the H last honestly WrestleMania Hell in the Cell. Yeah. Most of the beatings. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. I... Yeah, he's going to be the, the the work guy on that. Um, I'm but, sorry. Uh, of all the of all these uh, you know Undertaker matches, really, I mean, Sean and Taker one and two were excellent, and they yeah. won't be topped. Yeah, no, no, they won't. Even even after watching you know Taker Triple H last year, it was brutal. It was interesting there at the end, but really, I just kept thinking this is could be better. I'm not uh, no. Well, I mean, we can't expect them to top the year before every year, you know. I mean, yeah. and, and they're trying. Okay, can we really expect much more? I'll give them. I'll point? give them credit for trying. Sure, in the Undertaker's yeah. it's broken. still and happening, these, and people you know, are it takes tuning, a year off. It's still happening, and they're and people are tuning in and buying the pay per view for it. You can't deny that. Are they really buying the pay per view for that though? That's one of the reasons. Oh, it's it's said, we said there's some, more there's than still, once. The streak is more prestigious than any title. There are still diehard Undertaker fans. Yeah, I don't. They're they're there. That where else you? Yeah. T- where else Taker wouldn't be? They're either still they're doing either. this. I, I'm sorry, but at this point, and once again, this is my opinion. This does not reflect the opinion of the rest of the guys on the rest of Mayhem show. Damn straight, it doesn't. But Taker is pushing. Uh, at this point, Taker is pushing, and I'm gonna say it. Hogan, Flair, Ooh. points. Oh, yeah. He's at that point in his career, from all the stuff he's done in his career, that that's the point he's getting to. I don't think he's there yet. 
He's not, well, he's not, which he's not is, there which yet. I think, I think he's, getting, he's there. getting there, but when was the last time Hogan had a match the caliber it, within the past three to five years, the equivalent of Sean Taker? When, one or two. when has Hogan had a match of that caliber in the last two decades? Yeah, that's true. I, that's yeah. the problem. It's a different you thing. The Take- Sting Hogan match, it looked like a geriatric wrestling match honestly yeah and, I mean, sting had to carry look, that match, look at honestly. look at sting hogan from what was it 97 it's really not a good match guys it was <laughs> it, it was all the stuff outside of the match that really carried it uh hogan piper was is the closest thing to a really good match i remember out of hulk hogan right. you don't you don't get into hulk hogan for the wrestling as as a five star match it, it was more it was it was more um, you know the circumstances than anything that made Rock Hogan a moment. Than the I, th- match I think itself. I think what Chachi's getting time, at time out is, time out time out time out. I'm sorry, you just hurt my head, Sorg. Why? Because you just <laughs> said that you don't get into Hogan for the wrestling. Okay. The so what the fuck are we watching? The spectacle, spectacle, yeah. charisma, and, that, and like I like I was about to say, Hogan does not have drama. Charisma. It's not for the, you know, not for the workhorses in there. You heard for my that. head. Was that a wrestle fan? <laughs> I into well, it. I think what Chachi's getting at is, yeah, Taker maybe can still do some stuff, or maybe he can even. But I think slowly, the more he does this, the more he's going to lose that mm. that you know the spectacle. Well, you know what? He took a big hit back when uh, he had his feud with Kane uh, uh, late last year or a year before. Um, uh, that's, late last year. that's when you started seeing the kind of chinks in the armor of Taker because he looked so bad at that point. Yeah. Um, yeah. Matt Collins makes it, do you people get into Taker for the wrestling? We get into Taker because he's the Undertaker. We used yeah. to get into Taker for the wrestling, though. Really? That's the thing. I, Wait, I think whoa, you whoa, whoa. Take it at for which point? But the, you, the wrestling. At which point are we match. talking about the Undertaker versus Undertaker match? Because that was a five star. I tell you what. <laughs> no, or, or I how mean, about Undertaker the, versus Yokozuna? That was a damn good match. I mean, Cas- even casket and everything. Even as as recently as uh, the corporate ministry. Mm-hmm. Like m- maybe after that is when he should have hung it up. He had a groin injury. Uh, he was working through at the time, and he looked really bad. He did. Okay. Okay. What about uh? What about uh? Oh, I don't know. Taker Flair. Taker Flair. Hmm. Or the Taker that was, Flair that match. Was a, that was a good run for. Remember the was. first Taker Triple H match? Yeah. I. I just. He's one of those guys mm-hmm. that I can honestly say I grew up watching. Mm-hmm. So I'm noticing him progressively going downhill. Yeah. So all at, I'm saying is he should have hung it up before he got to the point where he's at now, mm-hmm. because he has to realize that we notice. Yeah. 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 Hey, I'm yeah, sure he does, and that's why he takes a year yeah. off at the time. So they're, they're not going to believe the mystique if he can't even barely sit up after right. his own tombstone was done to him last year. So mm-hmm. it's. It's like, stop now so those believers still believe, instead of going, all right, I'm bored with this guy. Don't yeah. kill the magic. Yeah. No, yeah. I agree with you on that part. I think, that's a good, I think that's a good point to end it on. Let's uh, toss the Mad Mice Minute of Mayhem and get back into this round table. Oh, raise, motherfucker, raise, and I'll die. Get these bottles, I'll support, start the fight. Greetings, Mayhem fans. It's Mad Mike once again with your Minute of Mayhem. Now, last night's Raw was actually a uh, pretty good show, unless your name is Wade Barrett. Um, <laughs> poor, I, I really feel bad for Wade Barrett because in my, you know, fantasy WrestleMania booking, I had him winning money in the bank. Um, Wade Barrett uh, is has a partially dislocated elbow and... I think the word on WWE.com is that he's going to be at six to eight weeks. And that really fucking sucks because apart from Wade Barrett, I don't know who takes money in the bank. Um, maybe Kofi Kingston. Maybe. Uh, Zack Ryder would be an interesting money in the bank choice, especially if Cena becomes champion at some point. Um, I think the way that they've been pushing Ryder, not... 
not in the literal sense off the ramp, but, you know, actual progression. Uh, I think if they gave him money in the bank, that would be... Because, A, I think he could be the first to lose money in the bank and wouldn't really lose any steam. Two, if they did have him win, even on a fluke victory, he could hold it for one night. And, you know, I think people will be okay with that. But, um... Yeah, I, I don't know who you have get money in the bank. I mean, Alberto Del Rio again, maybe? I don't know. Christian. Christian would be a cool person to have money in the bank, but I I think I think WWE is done with Christian. I think WWE is like, hey, uh, we gave you two Christian title reigns, and that's pretty much all you're going to get. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what you guys are thinking about money in the bank, but... I don't know. Now it's now it's looking a little shady to see who can possibly win that. All right. Well, apart from that, rest of the card looks interesting. Hell in a cell. Don't know how they're gonna hang it outdoors, but I'm sure they'll figure it out. Uh, Jericho Punk, obviously. And it looks like we may get Beth Phoenix and Karma, or we could even get Beth Phoenix versus Evil, because you know she's a heel now and. With the worst acting I've ever seen in my life. Alright, well, that's about it for me this week, guys. Take care. Spike your hair. Woo, woo, woo. You know, bitches. So, obviously, I think what they're going to do is bring in the Hell in a Cell by helicopter. (laughs) (laughs) I'll blow Vince McMahon if they do that. Or it raises from the floor... I was going to say, if like they a, do it, like if they do it by helicopter, you that's going to Giant bear trap! Forward. Exactly! I like all these ideas. All right, like all these ideas. So let's that's go back to Money in the Bank. People. Yeah, because uh, yeah, we definitely have a bit out of that. Um, what are your thoughts? Kofi. No Del Rio. No. Yeah, well, Del Rio's done. Oh, Del Rio? Del Rio's going to be in whatever they're going to do with the GMs. Right. Yeah, Del Rio doesn't need I want to say a three-on-three. Right. Maybe at this point. But is that what yeah, we're looking no, at? Del Rio. I, I, I bet you big shows in that if no Shaq happens, which sounds like from the I think I saw in the chat room, uh, Shaq would not be involved Shaq. with. Uh, no, Shaq himself shows. said he would be there in wrestling. Oh really? So yeah. Not pe- so. not penis Disneyland. <laughs> but um, uh, penis uh, Disneyland. Yeah, I. WWE. I know you listen. You know how I know you listen. Because you do shit that we say on the show. <laughs> after we say it on the show. Give it to Kofi. Give the West African, Jamaican, N- New Yorker a chance, please. From Tulsa. Yeah, from Tulsa. From Tulsa. <laughs> Give him a chance. He can do it. Just let him shine. Yeah, I think let I definitely shine. think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be Kofi or Ziggler. Uh, that's the two that like, you can come give- to mind that... If you can Ziggler. give Brian the championship, let him shine. What about you, Riz? What do you think? Ziggler. Wheels? Honestly, it, it, it's a tough one. It is Kofi or Ziggler. I mean, I'm pushing more towards Ziggler because it's time for him. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Definitely. What do you think, uh, Box? Box. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I agree. I would I would absolutely love to see Kofi do it. But if you do get, give it to Kofi, he will be the first person to lose the... Uh, it's the um, title with money in the back. Uh, and I also predict a Kane return. For money in the bank? Kane return? Uh, return to money in the bank, you mean. Oh. For the match, well, yeah. From not wherever he, he is I, now. not going to win it. No way. I hate yeah. that. Too. Mm-hmm. I, but it's just such a placeholder. Because, I mean, he doesn't need it, you know, no. at that point. They got to um, have a big guy. He, need, he needs something. What I hate. They're reinventing Kane. I hate big guys in Money in the Bank matches. Exactly, exactly. I'm with you on that. You, hey, d- the great yeah, Cody will find a, find a way to be in this match. Don't forget when Mark Henry was in the Money in the Bank, and he held the ladder while Kofi ran up it. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. That's why we have the Mark Henrys in the big shows and that in those matches. Um, what do you guys think about what's been developing, uh, which when you know when the Elimination Chamber, uh, which we haven't talked much about yet, um, uh, became a, a Monday Night Raw. Uh, oh, and mother. we had a great... Okay, wait. We went into this. Stop it. What? No. Stop it. Uh, what? 
Uh, he's talking to a cat. He's talking to a cat. Very sorry. He's I not talking to you. Not ta- I, I hope you're talking to the cat and not a significant other. Um, no. Throw um, something yeah, at your not, cat. Okay. Okay, cat. so wow. Okay. No, let's talk, let's um, talk about that opening for all. I really want to talk about that. About what? Because I mean, I have a strong. Opinion I wasn't talking about opening. the opening of Raw. I was talking about the GM situation. Oh, the GM. Oh, well, well, whatever. I mean, are we okay? We don't care at this point. I mean, I mean, so, yeah. Let's start with the pay per view. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, well, first of all, we had four matches advertised going into this. The main event was not a ha- elimination chamber. What happened? Why? It would, with the, the, the three I, matches, three matches I, that really that, that that floated the show were good. Both elimination chambers. The ambulance match was good. Should not have gone last. I don't think. No. But it, they're building not the, without Zack Ryder coming out at the end exactly. and running over Cena with all that the ambulance. people. <laughs> all the people that were part of this leading up to it oh, were nowhere off. to be found. Yeah. My thing I, with uh, the ending of that ambulance match and I, the ending of the pay per view. Yeah. There was no okay. So with the ending completely done. Why did we have this feud between Cena and Kane? Because Cena didn't change at all from this feud. No, it was a no, warm no. up for The Rock. Oh, come That's all it was. Did you notice how That's Cena retarded. was bouncing around? If you're going to have a warm up for The Rock, through a horrific match. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. If you're going to have a warm up for The Rock, don't do a feud over you know somebody sending someone to hell, you know, in, injuring somebody <laughs> to the point that they have to be in a wheelchair, kidnapping, and all this crazy shit. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to, if you want to, I'm, I'm not saying up, I'm do a for normal it. feud. No, but Cena saying, came out. Go ahead, Riz. Sorry. Go ahead, I'm Riz. just saying it's like it, it, it's what happened, and that I don't get it. No, much. Uh, Cena proved by coming out on Raw and acting normal that he and he showed it at the beginning when he straightened his shirt out before coming down the ramp that he rose above the hate. Which technically he didn't, but I'll get into that later. Okay. Yeah, I know you're right, but that's that's what WWE is going for here. Mm-hmm. Can we go back and talk about the fact that had I paid forty dollars for Sunday night, uh, <laughs> forty five, forty five dollars for Sunday night Raw down, I would have been extremely pissed off. Can we talk about that fact? Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. you know. Halfway through the fucking pay per view, it turned into Raw. You didn't think the big revelation uh, of of all these guys coming back wasn't enough for your hard earned money during this show, Chachi? This is a fucking pay per view. Why do you buy pay per views? For the Elimination Chamber match? Mm -hmm. Uh, For, you know, a better United States Champion match? (laughs) uh, Yeah, you know, uh, the two Elimination Chamber matches were good. The women's championship match was good. You yeah, know what? Yeah, you wanna, actually. You want to know what match I took a shit during? The United States championship match. You want to know why? Because it was made backstage at the fucking pay-per-view. <laughs> Before but, the last match. You know what titles weren't defended at the Elimination Chamber? Tag. The tag titles. Intercontinental. The Intercontinental, Intercontinental title. title. Well, that makes sense because the champion was in the Elimination Chamber. Doesn't matter. Because okay. he's in he's in a push for a big belt. That's I, I can understand that part. Okay? You have amazing tag team champions right now. Thank you. Fucking Chachi. amazing. Chachi, thank you. Wow. Fucking you're, you're, amazing. You're that team. over on these guys? Do you see what they do in the ring? They put even, on great matches. Even Their if manager has perky tits. What more do you need? On Raw last night against <laughs> Kofi and R-Truth, they put on an amazing match in seven minutes. Give these guys 20 on a pay-per-view against, I don't know, the Osos? Usos. 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 Another Usos? amazing tag team. Yeah. Let's not squash one of the biggest belts on the show. Mm-hmm. You know, the ones yeah. that you've been squashing for fucking years. <laughs> what, Kofi and uh, Evan Bourne don't have the belts that you no longer give a fuck? You know what? Fuck and, you! And that's the thing, Chachi. Like, they could have done a tag match that would have gone, you know, eight, nine minutes or something like that. But instead, they had John Laurinaitis' big announcement, which... My thing with that is, okay, it's an announcement, but why couldn't they fucking do that on Raw? Right. Hey, hey, It's not the pay-per-view. Hey, 
Hey, we do. We did get the awesome meme that is David Otunga. Yes, and look at that. That's true, and that's the one bright side of it. That is really good for a self portrait. That mm -hmm. is, at least, well, for him, at least. He looks like he's then, photoshopped into. an iPhone. He looks like he's photoshopped into his own <laughs> picture. That does look oh, really good, actually. Which is great because he then gets photoshopped into every other picture. Now, we found a Twitter account uh, the other night. Uh, John Cena rules. John Cena rules. Uh, let me let me pull up. We retweeted a lot of these on the Mayhem account that we were we were getting into. I have mine as my lock screen. <laughs> there it is. Hold on, hold on. Let me pop it over there. Show that off, off. off again. I think it turned Hang off. On. There it is. Yes, there it is. <laughs> They're all David Otunga. <laughs> That's amazing. I whoever is behind this and has has tons of. Uh, I, let me see if I can pull it up. So fill for a minute here, but um. David Otunga is kind of going, coming to his own. I, 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 you know, we're we're kind of. I want that template. The, for for the, has a character. Just yeah. spend five minutes in Photoshop. You want it? And a character that doesn't suck ass. I use paint. I'm you not use good, paint. I'm not yeah, good I don't at think Photoshop. you can do it in paint as easily as as that. I'm not good at Photoshop. I'll tell you, tell you what. I'll, I'll make a template for <laughs> okay. you. Remind me to make a template for you. I'll take the five minutes it takes. Okay. And 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 do that for you. Because I okay? I want to I want to make David Otunga go places. <laughs> oh, the places! Like, oh, wait, the wait, places wait, Otunga wait, will go. Like David make... Otunga goes to McDonald's on Smithfield Street. <laughs> 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 David Otunga goes to Adult Mart on Smithfield Street. Where in the world? David Otunga goes Otunga. to a power, Pittsburgh Power Football game. Exactly. <laughs> David Bobby should make the the uh, David Otunga look at Russell fan. David <laughs> in that picture. David, David Otunga is going to kick Ooh. me in the face at an indie show. Did, he's sitting beside him with his arm around him. <laughs> in that, somebody do that. I will send you Bobby. something from the, from the stash if you do that. It's <laughs> awesome. Bobby, um, you're on. Go. Bobby, go. Uh, <laughs> so Russell Van hanging with David Otunga. Um, and that's how David Otunga gets over and he becomes the next Zack Ryder because of that meme without yes. him doing anything at this yes. point. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I lost my Twitter, so I can't bring it up. <laughs> I'll work lost on it. His Twitter. Can we? Can we go into Raw? Uh, sure. What? What? No, do no, I no we're I not talk about the pay per view. I want to. We didn't talk, talk about, about the elimination chambers. We didn't talk about most of which the were both yeah, tremendous. I, I would like to point out that we said on this show, and I agreed that the Raw paper, the Raw chamber would not be nearly, or would be way better than the SmackDown chamber, and the SmackDown chamber would be shit. Incorrect. The SmackDown chamber was amazing. Mm -hmm. And largely due to the efforts of Wade fucking Barrett. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Who saw that coming? Nobody. And Santino. And Santino. Oh my god, Santino. Jesus. I, I, I think it was Riz that tweeted it, and I agree <laughs> and believe or, I completely agree that uh, WWE made me believe he could win that title. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I was actually excited to see this match because Santino almost won this. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. oh, there's the porn site. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah this porn. is it. They, we, well, let's say, we retweeted, tweeted some of these. There's David Atanga presenting the uh, uh, China porn video. Uh, there was a David Otunga pre preventing, uh, presenting the WrestleMania, the arcade game, also pixelated. Oh, it was just a random picture this guy did just in case of emergency break glass, and there's Christian behind it. Um, <laughs> that was fun. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, there's the uh, look at all the fucks. <laughs> look at all the fucks we give. Look at all the fucks we <laughs> give. That, that's a, that's a uh, wolf email in the making right there. Uh, there's, what is this? There's John the, Cena rolls. Yes. With an S. <laughs> There's Justin Roberts getting choked out. Justin Roberts getting choked out by uh, Daniel Bryan. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, Just show the multi chin. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is going better than expected. <laughs> Daniel Bryan. Exactly. Good shit there. There's one more. There's one more here. What is this? The oh China sex oh. tape. Awesome kick play. It's pictures of Ric Flair going nuts uh, as usual. Uh, but yeah, fun was Photoshop. Yeah. Yep. Um, but yeah, but the elimination. I thought the elimination chambers were everything I expect from an elimination chamber, and then some with SmackDown. Can we mention mm -hmm. that 
Big Show ripped the chains mm-hmm. off the top of the pod to get to Daniel Bryan. Man, the way he ripped those or, reminded yeah, me. Everybody, Daniel anybody Bryan. remember the My Pet Monster thing with the breakable chains? Yes. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought of as he was breaking those apart. <laughs> um, they, they, they did he crawled in the pod with him. <laughs> they did a lot of creative stuff with pods this year. They, they did, did, and they still didn't mm-hmm. open it until his time was up. Yeah, that was great. So we just let they just let Big Show in there whooping the shit out of him. <laughs> anyone who says that Big Show cannot beat up anyone in a phone booth is incorrect. <laughs> yeah, because he Big, just did. Because I mean, he was, had plenty of room. There was that the, in the raw chamber. Dolph Ziggler doing crunches in his pod. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good shit. Uh, Good all, shit. All kinds of amazing. Awesome. Um. Yeah, well, I think we can go to Raw now. It, 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 okay. The Elimination Chamber was was pretty good and worth it, other than the non-Elimination Chamber <laughs> stuff. Well, they but, they yeah. went through the whole time saying that oh, only thirty three percent of the champions have uh, made it out of the Elimination Chamber as the champion. And, and then they look both won. Yeah. Which yeah, is good because um, I mean we, we've seen we've seen where both titles have changed hands and basically the entire landscape leaning in WrestleMania because it was always used to be from like Royal Rumble on you're like oh, I can see where this is all kind of falling out right yeah. and and but you hit Elimination Chamber and you can they can literally say I don't know if this guy's title run is going well and just execute him from the entire thing yep they just it's it's just the Elimination Chamber has become a giant abort button. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a giant, a giant NES reset button it, it's, on on the road to WrestleMania. It's the WWE's undo button. It's it's the oh shit bar. Yes, uh, of 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 the road to WrestleMania. Oh, this guy's a champion, but his merch isn't selling well, and people aren't buying later, him as a champion. Later. So if anybody has any doubts about Daniel Bryan and CM Punk and the faith in them with this company going into WrestleMania as champions, it's, there you go. You yeah. are well. There you go. The you, Indies have done. given you your two biggest stars. There you go. <laughs> yes. One yeah. one last thing about Elimination Chamber. Fucking Sheamus. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 The Royal Rumble winner was not in a match. No. But he no. showed up anyhow. Yeah. The guy on the poster as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. That's and the commercial. That was weird. That was weird. And everything was green. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He did what he needed it's a to do. Thing. So, <laughs> <laughs> too, many lines. too many lines. Um, he but did Rob, what he needed to do. Raw became Days of Our. Oh fuck, Raw! I want to talk Rob. about. I, I, I really uh, want to talk and about this. Here we go. Well, and and one the you know the Eve storyline and all that whatever. Well, um, okay, so we do this. We I mentioned before how no, nothing changed with John Cena at the Elimination Chamber, and. I hate – and don't get me wrong. I hate it when people complain about, oh, WWE and Be A Star are together, but they shouldn't be together because they do the bullying shit on their TV shows. I think those people are stupid, OK? I think they're retarded. But when John Cena – That's a hateful word you just be used. Be a star, Russell Be fan. a star. Don't use those hateful words. Yeah, OK. But when John Cena comes <laughs> out with a T-shirt that says, Rise Above Hate – and he basically goes to the ring and says, "Hey everyone, look at this whore! Isn't she such a whore? Oh. She probably has diseases." This is the same company that 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 the the faces are making fun of Vicky Guerrero's weight. Yeah. So. What's because she's wait. a fat, sexy bitch, sort. <laughs> My thing no, no, no. is. What's up? She's a fat, sexy uh, cougar. I, fat, That's sexy right. cougar. That's You're right. right. You're right. That's right. Shedding light on the ailments that the 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 strife that the cougars face in this town. Yeah. Town. And, <laughs> and, I don't know. <laughs> I really think this whole Tourney Eve heel was. They looked at the story. The writers looked at the story and said, "Okay, we have three faces here here uh, in this thing. We can't turn John Cena heel yet because he's facing The Rock. We can't turn Zack Ryder heel because because he sells a lot of merch. Let's turn the woman heel." No, no, you're I wrong. I called it. You're exactly wrong. They turned Eve heel the very moment she friend zoned at Zack Ryder. Because but the WWE the writers are a bunch of fat loser fuck neckbeards <laughs> who have been friend zoned by every relatively attractive female they've come in contact with. So and that the, bitch was a heel as soon as she said, we just I think of us as really good friends. 
And that's the th and that's the worst part because her explanation as to why she's heel is I was using Zack Ryder to get to the top. How can you be using him if you friend zoned him? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Because the Re Wrestle fan, there's a ladder going here. She used Zack Ryder. Is it Money in the Bank? To, <laughs> yes. Okay. To get to John Cena. The Cena's. bank being vagina. <laughs> vagina bank. Now, the, now what she was Strong going bank. to do was... <laughs> Lady penis. She gonna, yes. <laughs> she was going to go to John Cena to the rock, which is up here, which is basically the top. I think you need to drop then. Picture. The Rock so she left her will back get door screwed over by Vince McMahon. Ooh. <laughs> Done. Okay. And I, I, I think it's stupid, but yeah, you're right. That's probably how it's going to go. But I I don't know. It's just I feel so uninterested in Roxena. Like, I really do. I feel it's just gotten to that point where it's just like, I don't give a shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like, especially with this whole Cena Kane thing. They did this whole feud, and now f for nothing. Like I care about Rock Cena about as much as Chachi cares about Triple H Undertaker. Yeah. You know what? I used to not care about Rock Cena. And you took an arrow to the knee? No. <laughs> but on, uh, on Sunday Night Raw Down, they, uh, they showed probably the greatest promo. Which they didn't show on Raw, did they? No. They showed yeah. pretty much the greatest promo of the whole Cena Rock thing. Hmm. So I found it was I. It was a I good can't. promo, but I found it was just like, "Hey, look at me! I I do seem like I'm an asshole to a guy that's in a wheelchair, but hey, I let all these guys use my gym. I'm a good guy. <laughs> well, I'm good to able-bodied people. It's not just that, but all right. The way I see Raw last night was from the beginning to the end, like from the beginning of Raw to the end of the Undertaker Triple H promo was terrible. But then it picked up, and it started getting good. And I wish I would have been awake for it last night, because I'm sure I would have enjoyed it just as much. But Cena came out, and he gave a damn good in-ring promo about the match at WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. He gave the best promo of the entire build-up for this match. Mm -hmm. And then they had the amazing... Uh, Oh, shit. Over the uh, top rope? Yeah, over the top rope Battle Royal to main event for Raw. It was amazing. Mm hmm So, I mean... Until I wouldn't say, I wouldn't Big say Show amazing. messed everybody up. Yeah, until Big Show killed everyone. Now, uh, I believe this is a part of Riz where you said you were going to use your degree. Oh, yeah. Uh, like we talked about with Wade Barrett having the dislocated elbow. Okay. Um... Basically, he kind of got off easy. Okay. Because when you have a dislocated elbow, because it's on like a hinge joint. It's not like a ball and socket joint where everything moves around. It's more of a hinge. But what the dislocation is, basically it pops <laughs> this way. Ball and joint. And it, but thankfully, it didn't stay this way. It came back into his elbow. Okay. So, and <laughs> Sorg, Sorg, I just saw you on the feed doing the diagram. <laughs> yeah. Ball socket. <laughs> Demonstrate. This is a joint. This is a joint. This is a joint. And ball, ball socket. Ball socket. Ball socket. <laughs> ball socket. Yes. 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 I remember I mean, health class. If, if I was good at health. If it didn't <laughs> come back in, if it stayed out, that mm. would be bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because there's vein. There's your uh, arteries veins, whatever. They're all hanging and dangling. They're all, yeah, they're all there, and it gets cut off. So... I mean, honestly, Sorg, you, me, uh, Russell Pan, all of us were watching that, and it was like, we were like all, all yeah. like, Ziggler hitting the, like, announce table, mm -hmm. and we're like, oh, God, he's done. We didn't Which, by the way, Ziggler is the king of selling match. anything. I just want to say that Dolph Ziggler wrestled the dark match. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. Afterwards? Afterwards. Nice. So so he was good. That's okay. good. Yeah. That's definitely good. Um, so it's Gumby for some reason. So and what was this? A bit, due to Big Show, five people got hurt in that match. We were talking four, about four people. Four people. Nope. Four. Our truth. Dolph Ziggler, Wade Barrett, and 
Who's the other one? Cody Rhodes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Wow. You're missing one. No, that's all of them. Because no one else was injured. Kofi wasn't. Uh, Most of them were injured so, from the night before. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. so this true. was the, 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 everybody's dropping like flies at this point, leading in the WrestleMania. It's pretty good that they have a month and a half for people to get better. Yeah. That's so that's good. So, um, <laughs> Ironically, is anybody when they bring writing back down their deaths? Alberto Del Rio, Christian. <laughs> I, yeah, they're not bringing anybody up for FCW for WrestleMania. I, I, I don't think <laughs> Funkasaurus bringing back. Funkasaurus. Yeah. Yeah. that's the one thing bringing we back to us. Yeah, Funkasaurus has been MIA, apparently lost in the wild. He's been demoted. He's been demoted down to FCW. That's He's bullshit. been tried. That is frozen. such bullshit. It sounds like well, the the the, the, the word the, the the what they you know what I've been reading is uh, you know it was more a matter of well, there's elimination chamber going on, so all the bill was for that, so they didn't have anything for him. Hmm. Um, well, you know, I don't. We'll see. Maybe I'll maybe pop up. if you stop pushing him as a dancing moron. <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> come Fuck on, you. Chachi. Funkasaurus was the best thing ever. You shut up, Chachi. Fuck you. He was pure entertainment. He was. I don't give a shit yeah. if he could he wrestle or not. He was the new age Papa Shango. He what? <laughs> he was a spec. No, he was a first second. Off, he was a second coming. No, he was a second coming of Flash Funk, the Cat Miller. No, first off, <laughs> Lunchbox, you shut your whore mouth. Second coming of Papa Shanka, my ass. All right? <laughs> Secondly, for a month, we saw John Laurinaitis take calls to Brodus saying, oh, no, we're not ready for you yet. To have him come up and spend five minutes dancing in the ring and then two minutes squashing an opponent. Yep, hilarious. As opposed yeah. to him, oh, just squashing people. Hey, you know what? There's, uh, at the time, there was two really big wrestlers picking on a really small wrestler. (laughs) What? So, you know, how about you have the big guys fight each other? What? I don't know what you're talking about at all. This the was big story show and Mark Henry against Daniel Bryan. I, there I we agree. Go. Let's fire Rey oh, Mysterio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> second. All right, guys. That is not that what we talk? said. Hey, okay. I, I, sure. Whatever I mean, I, I'm not going to argue with, with you. you. All right. I'm not going to argue with you, but um, that is not where we were going. Can we touch on one more thing? Josh, can you pull up the <laughs> iPad there? You know what I'm going with that. No. It's, it was it dead? No. No, I just don't want to pull it up. Come there, on. I got we it. We got to talk about this. I got we it. We got to talk about this. Oh, oh man, it's WrestleFest was released uh, last late last night. There it is. Oh, God, you like got so excited over there. I was. I was on the hangout with you guys. I'm like, I saw Chess Flex or Facebook that it was out. I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm going to download this right now. So you see, I got it on the iPad. It's four dollars for the iPad, three dollars for uh, the iPhone. I touch, I touch, uh, iPod touch. Uh, let's see if after everything loads, it loads. I don't. I can't. I can't believe how much loading there is this for this game for being all. Pixel. Mine just loaded right up. Pixel art. Oh, you know what? I'm on a first gen iPad, so that's huh. like that's like halfway between a three GS and a four. Um, yep. But you get in here, and uh, first you'll notice there's a WWE shop. Uh, there's a content pack already you can buy for ni- 99 cents. I would say just go ahead and do it because it includes, when it loads here, uh, Big Boss Man, CM Punk, Shawn Michaels, Sheamus, Triple H, and the old Survivor Series Arena uh, right there. You see, owned. Uh, apparently, they're going to release a new pack every week for 99 cents from what I was seeing. But you go in there, there's ex- Exhibition, uh, Road to WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, Saturday Night's Main Event Tournament, Tag team and gauntlet match. I'll just go into an exhibition here and uh, includes we got Jake the Snake, John Cena, Rey Mysterio, uh, Rock, Stone Cold, Macho, Orton, and Taker. I'll pick some Macho Man here. And it is some awesome chip tune music as well. Like the good old days. And there, Riz has got a game up there. Whoops, that's not him. That's not uh, There it is. Wait. I'm actually about to get my ass kicked. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, if you play the old arcade game, you're gonna be—it's gonna be right up your alley here, I think. Um, I tried he wasn't too crazy about it, but I don't think he was really uh, much into 
that kind of thing. And, and it looks pretty damn cool. And it is two buttons. It's button mashing. There's a Macho Man vs. Triple H going on right there. I mean, all updated. I mean, it, 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 oh, the battle for Stephanie Snatch. There you go, <laughs> right there. I'm actually getting my ass kicked by Jake Roberts. There you go. That well, happens a lot. Um, I think it's worth the it's four dollars. Ball on the ground, you'll win. I mean, but yeah, it's basically it's basically the same thing. And that is, they're going to be putting out other content packs, so uh, hopefully they get more of the original cast, like uh, Legion of Doom, Demolition, maybe. Uh, maybe some Ultimate Warrior Hulk Hogan. I, I don't see why not at this point. Uh, but yeah, the, the basic arcade setup, and uh, it, it's pretty cool. I've been pretty excited about it so far. I mean, there's not it, it's, it's very one-dimensional. I mean, it's an old arcade beat-em-up wrestling game, but if you... It, it probably works for most if uh, if you have that memory in the back of your head uh, yeah. than anything. But uh, it, it seems... <laughs> and we got a winner! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, David yes. Otago presents! Uh, but there's no caption on it, so you're disqualified. But thank you. Oh, my God. Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. I, I'm... I'm po- oh, God. Retweet <laughs> the shit out of that. Um... Wow, that's amazing. Uh, and that is the show pick for this week. Um, thanks. Hey, uh, it's time to wow. learn. Let's, we got to get out of here uh, We got because we have work to do. Uh, what did you wow. learn from wrestling? DJ Lunchbox. God damn it. Like three weeks yeah. in a row. You Swerve, wheels. What did you learn from wrestling this week? <laughs> what did I learn? Don't trust your partner as a sound guy as they get you in trouble. And... When you wrestle David Otonga, make sure he doesn't use your finisher to beat you. Mm. Riz, what'd you learn from wrestling? I learned that if this was 1999, Zack Ryder wouldn't have to wrestle again from the proceeds that he gets from the Hoskies over uh, Broskies over Hoskies. <laughs> wrestle fan, what'd you learn from wrestling and or the Indies this week? Uh, well, what I learned from wrestling, well, man, what I learned from wrestling this week is, and uh, we, I know, Chachi, uh, the, the problem with your pay-per-view I agree with. My biggest problem was, um, a certain segment that was going around featuring Hornswoggle. Uh, yeah, WWE, stop it. <laughs> stop it now. Stop I it. watched, I watched SmackDown, and they had a Divas tag match with Natalia, and it was a good match until... She locks Alicia Fox in the sharpshooter. Then she has a look on her face. Then the referee turns away, clutching his nose, and misses Alicia Fox tapping out. <laughs> Seriously? Wow. Stop it. WWE, Farts are stop funny, it. man. Farts are funny. DJ Lunchbox, what'd you learn? <laughs> uh, I learned uh, I learned two things. Uh, one, uh, I forgot the first one. The second was, was uh, I am apparently willing to suck on Penis FJ Town. To get CM Punk on the show. <laughs> nice. Chachi, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? Uh, that Undertaker needs to hang up the boots. Mm. Oh, by the way, I also learned that um, Funaki lives in San Antonio and is a Packers fan. That's weird. <laughs> that is yes, weird. Is. From the chat room, we got uh, uh, Bobby FJ Town learned that Eve is a horrible actress, Exana is a horrible wrestler, but looks damn good in fishnets and zippers, and I'm going to penis Disneyland! Uh, <laughs> Mad Mike learned that Cena I should like market the WWE... Really loud. I learned that Cena should uh, market the WWE rape whistle. It tells rapists to... I and He spelled Eve really weird. Um, I don't, I don't know. We get it. There's Sonic there. screw job. Learn that Triple H was the same has the same weakness as Marty McFly. I learned that hoods hide baldness under better than hats. Pity Taker's new look is all over WWE magazine. I learned that Eve Cena open segment made me wish for the debate segment. Um, there you yeah. go. Also, I, uh, <laughs> I learned that to an outsider. An outsider meaning non wrestling fan. Mm-hmm. If you tell them the name of a pay per view is the Elimination Chamber, they're going to make toilet jokes. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> really? Yes. Um, I didn't think about that. Chris uh, kept insisting that the Elimination Chamber was a poop toilet match. And I had to. I ex- win. And I had to. Uh, I had to tell her that there was no pooping in the Elimination Chamber match. 
<laughs> He's still playing the game. <laughs> so, no, I was party. playing that whole time. You know, we know of. Yeah, uh, at least that we know of. That Daniel Bryan's may have shit his pants when Big Show broke into his pod. Yes, <laughs> but, great. but then again, if you're standing in the pod and you're a little guy, and a big guy is going to come <laughs> crashing down into your little space, um, if you don't poop your pants, then... <laughs> he kind of looked like Russell Fan. You were on something. Yeah, and then you look like me. He kind of show the like picture. Russell Bring up the picture. Do the picture now. Oh wait, come on. Let me I'm see sorry, it. I didn't have it. Ah, uh, uh, this is, yeah, this is what would be angry about. This, this. is what Daniel Bryan's looked like. What? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Usually I would be angry about this stuff, but that's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> that is. That is. He became part so, of. So uh, yeah, recap, caption contest. Funniest caption wins. Half pints. You can email us good times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. You can check us out on the Twitters at Mayhem Show. You can go to the website at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. We're on iTunes, your Roku boxes, uh, Stitcher, um, 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 other places, YouTube, MySpace, yes, um, everywhere. And you can call us. And leave us a voicemail at 412-206-WMS0. That's 9670 for your rotary phones. Yeah, and leave us a voicemail. A rotary phone? So, for Sorg, Lunchbox, Russell Fan, Riz, Wheels, and all the lovely fans in the chat room, I'm Chachi. Mayhem out! <laughs>